Once upon a time, there was a little girl who only believed in fairy tales full of glitter and magic until the darkness took over. And this was her story. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is my fairy tale Princess of Darkness look that I've created ahead of the NYX Face Awards. I've had so much fun creating this, so let's jump right in. I'm going to go through and put some tape on my face to start. I like to not leave it up to chance when I'm working with glitter and dark tones just because they tend to get quite messy and I can make sure I'm going to get a nice crisp line in the end. So I'm going through with a black gel liner and I'm going to blend that out and then I'm going to set that in place with a black liner and blend it out a little bit with a dark brown shadow. So next I'm going in with the NYX glitter primer and this glitter stack and I'm going to use the black shade on top and I'm going to create a little bit of a cut crease with the glitter first and then go through and tap on that black glitter. So next I'm going to repeat the process on the other side, making sure to blend it out as much as I can to make sure those ends are nice and soft. So then I'm going in again with the glitter primer and this time I'm going to use a different stack. This is the middle shade which is a beautiful purple tone. So I'm going to go through and cut the crease with the glue and then um, tap on that really pretty purple glitter. So a really good tip if you get glitter all over your face, use some um, tape to get it off. It makes life so much easier. So now I'm going in with my Shine Killer Primer, I'm going to throw some foundation on my face, blend that all out, um, do some concealing under my eyes, blend that all out and set that in place with the NYX No Filter Powder. I am in the shade Ivory. Um, I just love to throw this on my face, it gives a nice um, airbrush kind of finish and it is sets my face for the rest of my look. So I'm going to go through with um, the same black shadow and a small um, blending brush and create a bit of a smoky eye underneath and then I'm going in with the glitter primer and um, some more glitter and I'm going to create kind of a teardrop kind of shape underneath my eyes. I'm going to go through and bronze and contour as per usual and then I'm going to go in with the Strobe of Genius colour and this really pretty champagne tone and I'm going to throw some highlight just on the one side, you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going through and mapping out where I'm going to be putting um, my patchwork kind of look for this. So I'm creating a little bit of shade and darkness and then I'm going to go through and do the designs in this piece. Um, I don't really have any real rules on how to do this. I find it's kind of intuitive. You just know where you want to put things um, and everything is just kind of thrown on there. <laughs> don't really have any magical pieces of advice just kind of go with it um, I like to I kind of sit and think beforehand so I've got an idea in my mind or I doodle and write things down draw things um, and I kind of take a deep breath before I do the next step because I want it to all kind of work together um, so I'm using a very very small eyeliner brush and I'm going through with a little bit of black paint a steady hand also helps for this. No energy drinks before you start doing this work. So um, now I'm going to go through and start working on the skeleton part of the look. Um, I like to map it out first using the um, Milk Jumbo Pencil um, from NYX and then go through and do the shade detailing again with that small brush and the black paint and just creating some teeth, um, kind of colouring in the shadows and yeah. So once that's all in place, I'm going in with some white paint this time, again with a small flat um, brush and going through and creating the skeleton. I like how it's starting to come to life now. It's really fun to watch back. So on the other side, I decided that I wasn't going to do um, like a jawline. I was going to do like a stitched up um, mouth. So I've just elongated my mouth a little bit with a little bit of that black paint. Um, thrown some gems on to represent the teeth and now I'm going to go through with a little bit of silver glitter to emphasize um, the six back teeth that I've got going on there. So now I'm using the um, middle and bottom 
colors from the stack the pink and the purple and I'm gonna throw this literally I was almost throwing this on the upper part of my forehead um, so much fun but you guys should have seen the state of my shower when I washed this off there was glitter without a lie it was everywhere oh my gosh this stuff so much fun but my poor shower <laughs> So um, I'm going to go through and kind of fill in as much of my hairline as I can and then I mixed a little bit of glitter with some gel, um, some hair gel and threw that onto my hair just to kind of add to the effect. So I'm really sorry I didn't film this, I didn't realise that I wasn't filming this but I just went through and mapped everything out again with my milk jumbo pencil um, and then I go through and fill it all in with the white paint. Um, the joy of this is the fact that it is the base colour so I can go through and kind of wipe off what I don't need. I do kind of stand back and throw this on a little bit because I find that I tidy everything up with the black afterwards and make sure everything's nice and crisp and tidy. So I'm just filling everything in. And this is my favourite, favourite part of the look. I love finally seeing it start to come together with the black paint. It just creates those shadows, it looks really cool against the black background. Um, so I'm just basically with a super steady hand going around the outside of the white and filling everything in. It's the small details for me, so a little um, like the, the joints and everything like that, just outline that, that makes them um, seem a little bit more realistic or as realistic as I can possibly get it. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. You'll see soon with the detailing around the neck, um, I kind of felt like it wasn't detailed enough so I went through with the black paint and tidied everything up. So you'll see in a second that it just makes a world of difference just taking the time to go around and do those edges properly. So just crisping up those neck bones. And one of the last steps of this was doing the stitching. So I used some very um, small thin twine and um, put some spots down with some brown shadow um, to create some shadowing and some black glue and I just kind of stick them on there so it looks like stitching. So um, by using the black glue and the combination of the brown shadow, um, it just creates some really, um, I think makes it a little look a little bit more 3D. So um, this is a little bit fiddly, you need a lot of patience and some really good tweezers for this. So then I just go through and highlight my inner corner and I'm done. I had the most amazing time creating this look. It was really fun to really push my imagination and come up with something and I think I've come up with something a little bit more unique, um, something a little bit outside of the box for myself. So I'm super stoked with the results. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is me celebrating after a four and a half hour paint. So so happy <laughs> um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this enjoyed this thank you so much for watching take care and i will talk to you guys real soon bye